RPG, dungeon crawling, bullet hell, roguelike. There we go. We've kind of got it all down pat. Now we're going to be playing the Deprived today. If you are familiar with, you know, Dark Souls, you might know what this is inspired by. So we're going to get plus one to all weapon proficiencies, or I guess all proficiencies. I assume there's only, I've only ever seen weapon proficiency, while not wearing an armor, helmet, or boots. And we start with a club. We are going to be a nude man running around with a club <laughs> is going to be the run here. Uh, okay, so we get, yeah, so it's a B rank weapon. Normally it's a C rank weapon. So basically it's just gonna be doing, I, I'm assuming just more damage. I'm, I haven't quite figured out exactly uh, what it does yet, but ooh, ooh, it's a little chunky. It's a little bit chunky there. Okay, do we wanna get the key or the beef? I'm gonna, you know what? I'm gonna regret this. I'm gonna regret this, but hopefully we can get a key when we're not sacrificing strength as our other thing. Uh, three, two, one. Three strength, two dex, one intelligence. When we level up by picking up all the food right here, we're gonna get perks related to the stats that we have. I think I'm okay with getting dex. Obviously, our weapon scales with strength, so I don't want to take probably too much. Uh, but here we go. There we go. Not bad, not bad. Uh, I'm curious to see what a, you know, a very slow, chunky weapon is going to look like in this game. 30% more damage at close range. 30% more damage. Ooh. Oh, wait a minute. Beef. <laughs> Hold on. What if I could get... Th this is for science. So this is currently an A-rank proficiency weapon now. I do know that there are weapons that just have S rank. This might mean we could actually find a way to scale that up to beyond S rank. Health or, sh let's go with strength. I am gonna want the, like the armor stuff in the future here. Like, thank you. Thank you, I was gonna say, like I was immediately starting to regret it because I only have two max HP. So going for that is a little bit sketchy. But alas, alas, there we are. A random melee weapon, a random helmet. I actually can't take a helmet. Time to feast. I'm not overly attached to the club. Like, if I could get a different type of club, that would be sort of the ideal dream, I think. God, we're chunking. Look at that damage. Oh. Okay. Wow. Uh, wow. Please strength based. Please strength based. S plus inf uh, inferior giant slayer. Oh boy. Okay, that's pretty cool. You know what? I'll skip a dex for that. S plus rank. All right. So is this normally an A rank, or maybe we maybe it's an S rank and we scaled it twice, and it just goes to S plus? I don't know. I have no idea, but what do I think about this? I'll tell you what, I'll probably keep it regardless. Ninja Dagger is not really what I was looking for. Crimson Staff is a magic weapon that scales on strength? I didn't know that that would be a thing. Same with the bow. We don't have to go strength, I guess. Does this normally scale, like, with a D-rank proficiency with... Oh, no, it goes up with this as well, so it's like... Yeah, is there... I thought D was the lowest proficiency rank. I guess maybe there's an E? E-rank proficiency as well? I guess I'll take a bow for, like, just-in-case reasons. I don't know, maybe there's some stuff we can do with it. I'm just trying to figure out what I feel about this weapon. I'm gonna skip the intelligence. No, thank you. The attack pattern is interesting. Obviously we can get much better range here. Oh, stop making me, I don't wanna pass up that much intelligence. I don't wanna pass up that much candy, but I don't want intelligence perks right now. It's one of the few, uh... wait, what? damage after the room is done? That's annoying. That's something I, I, I would say probably should go, if I'm gonna be honest. 
after room damage is is a thing of the past, man. Double stamina recovery, increase your damage. I think that's worth it. We have so many keys now. I think I'm going to go for it. So I think it's these guys, right? Yes, it is. Okay. So, I mean, now we know, but it's pretty annoying. It's pretty annoying that we had lost that HP. We got to deal with it. But hey, that's why we have the armor. Offhand. Big Chomper! Oh, I do know Big Chomper. S plus rank. I'll go for an offhand. I'm so cold and lonely. Oh god, I, I don't know if this is... I don't know if this is the weapon for this fight. This arena feels too small for this. Uh. I mean, it's, it's not that it's not doing lots of damage. We should do the one that does 30% more damage versus bosses anyways. Hmm. I don't know, maybe the big chopper is good enough, right? Maybe we're fine. Maybe we're fine to go for it. If this is with a 30% damage increase, maybe the big chopper's cracked. Plus three armor, minus 5% movement speed. There's one meta currency, two, and that's all I care about. Uh, but that's a two-hand. Is this... Ah, that's pretty noteworthy. The fact that we can rock this and this. We, we obviously have to attune it still. I'll go for some, some decks. I'm feeling like this is probably a some rooms weapon. I don't really have that much money. I think it's, there's going to be some enemies that this weapon is god-awful against. We have already used it in this series so far, too. Okay. Chunk, chunk. Oh, please. More strength, more strength. Any X's? Oh, a little risky there. Definitely going to be going for pretty much the uh, the soul hearts as much as I can. Melee builds are a little bit trickier in this game. Mm. Uh, acrobatics is better than ignore pain. That's huge. Okay, like the see the flail is really good against those guys because their hitbox is really wide. Ooh. Back it up, back it up. Chest for melee fighters. I I wouldn't mind a ring. And you know what? I'm not like a, I'm not gonna say I'm absolutely not gonna switch my weapon. Hey, you're not wrong. Okay, so we have bombs. We can go for this. But it's not going to really do anything, or at least the times that we have blown up the chests, I don't think it did anything. It was just meta currency. Yep, I'll take one and then run away. Aw, oh, shame. Yeah, I'm loving this for room clear, not loving it for bosses. I wonder if that um, the boss killer weapon that we have is maybe not quite as strong as I would think because it's it is the inferior one. Like, I don't really know too much about it. About the inferior versus superior, but it seems like it's maybe just an extra, like, little RNG layer, so maybe you get a weapon that... Oh, what the heck? Normally is not that great, but is made better because you just got lucky with a superior, or normally a weapon that's a carry, and it's inferior. Yeah, I think we... I think we have to go. Oh, God. I just feel like this should be better, considering it's made for boss fights. Am I crazy? I guess it must be the inferior. I mean, as it scales more and more, it does have, like, it has that flat 30% addition. Okay. 
he's just not that impressive. <laughs> That's just where I'm at with that. Uh, bonus souls found. Lol. Attunement one, okay. Whoop. Back it up, back it up, back it up. Chomper for room clear though, godly. I wouldn't mind getting to 10 decks and maybe sort of tapping out at my, uh, what decks I get at that point. 10 decks gives us an extra dodge, which I'm certainly not gonna say is bad. Sure. Back it up. Okay, so these guys drop stuff after death. Maybe we want to kill them a little bit more spaced out. Good. Oh my. Upgrade weapons. Oh, I don't know, man. It's not that I don't want to upgrade my weapon. I'm just like, I don't know what weapon to upgrade. I genuinely have no idea. Probably the big chomper. Maybe the club. What if the, what if we should have, should have just stuck with the club the whole time, right? I'll upgrade this once. I'll upgrade this once, but I'm not committing to it. I'm not committing to it because we we have since we've already used it. I'm not committing to it. Spell curse. I'll take the armory. Wow me. <gasps> now there we go. That seems more like it. That seems like, of course, I immediately get it, like, right after, but that seems more what I'm looking for. Okay, how good is bleed? I just want to see them bleed. Oh, that seems okay. Not bad, not great. Not bad, not great. 30% more damage against bleeding enemies. Now, there we go. That's a little bit more interesting. Although, infusion effects are permanent is cool. Um, this, this kind of settles it, though, I think. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's pretty substantial. Is it slow and chunky? Sure. But it's a freaking mace, man. Like, what do you expect? Look at the health. I... I think it's better than what we would get at the arcade. I don't know for sure. Melee weapon or another accessory. I wouldn't mind replacing my accessory. I really wouldn't. Oh, these guys. Oh, these guys. They're not too melee friendly. Oh, God. Yeah, I stand by the fact that it's... Kind of weird that they seem to both have the amount of health of a an entire boss. Okay. Not my favorite situation. Okay, good. My brother! That attack is... Tricky, 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 tricky. So double bang, bang, bang. I guess that's what you do. You just get to the side, bang, bang. Get ready to dodge through all three. This puts you in a little bit of an awkward spot, and then you side strafe. Yeah. Oh god. It's just, yeah, th th this guy is not made for melee. Maybe we should kill the other one first for melee builds. Oof. Sure. Souls? Good. There. There you go. There you go. Because you've been good. There you go. Uh, I would rather have inherent maximum armor forever. Four max armor and a dodge in every room is so good. Extra strength. Oh. Chunk, 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 chunk. Would like some 
Max man, <laughs> Max mana, I don't care. Uh, I would like some gold so that when we find the blacksmith, I'm not going to be heartbroken by the fact that I can't upgrade the weapon when I finally have decided what I'm going to main this run. Let's luck. Okay. Bop, bop. Oh, that's some damage. Oh, it's some damage. I'm, I'm going to go bold here. I'm going to go for the medium gold. Because that gives us enough to get at least one level up here on our weapon. Okay, 23. Oh, maximum health forever, though? Forever, though? It's so hard to pass that up. That's the equivalent. Like, you get one max health for getting 10 strength. To put it in perspective. I don't have any other bombs, so this is actually kind of sad. We'll go here. Doing two in a row would have been silly. That luck was wild. I wonder what we need for those locked doors that we found at the end of the run. Uh, it can't be as simple as just a key. Like a standard key, right? That'd be silly. Plus, I'm pretty sure we had that. Mm -hmm. 23 bucks. I'm going to save my money. Oh my god. Thank you for the free evasion. Oh, that's so good. I keep on forgetting about that. Luck? I'll take luck. Oh, thank god, part two. We don't have to deal with the Sphinx. We, we get Nasus instead. It's not that he's like a great melee fight, but the Sphinx is just... a terrifying fight for any build, and especially... especially, especially for melee. Made much, much worse. How can a chalice bleed? That was just a dodge roll dodge, thank god. There we go. Hoofer. Alright, now it's getting sketchy. Go, 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 go. I hope this weapon wasn't an S rank already. I'd hate to think that the uh, that we're beefing the proficiency stuff. I'm not going to put on any armor. Like, I might put on armor to figure out if this was an S-rank. But I'm not going to wear armor, because it just feels against the spirit of the run. Dude, you've been, you've been that good. Comments, you've been th exactly that good. Uh, I'll take a key. Whoa! Shark, 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 shark. It's been hilarious to see how many people say that they have solved the shark's attack pattern and the fact that it is different every single time I've read it. Every, I want to tell you guys that I have seen six different people say that they have solved the shark's exact attack pattern for when he dodges or when he charges in and it's been different every time. <laughs> I have seen nobody agree. Whoop. I don't think it's really, like, it's fine. Because I think that, you know what the shark's attack pattern is? Kill him first. And don't even figure it out. That's genuinely what it seems to be. Like, we'll try here. Like, does he... As soon as somebody dies? Nope, that's not it. It might just be after a flat amount of, uh, of bounces. Doesn't really matter. Critical hit chance up for a couple rooms. Nah. Screw that. Screw that, I'm a big boy. Boink, boink, boink. I feel like 30 melee damage isn't that big of a deal for us. If it was like a 30%, I'd, oh, I'd freak. I think it just depends on the weapon, you know? Another strength for this? I mean, sure. 
There we go. Yeah, just kill him before you can figure it out. Genuinely, that seems to be the best call. Nine more strength. Swift blade. Grants speed boost on hit. Do I really need it? No. I don't I don't care. Like Blood Shrine, I don't care about because even though it lasts longer, you're trading something that will probably have a permanent uh impact on your run for something that does not. Which just means that I don't really care about it. The same reason that I will pretty much always take a key over a potion, despite the fact that the key might not give us anything good. It's more likely to give us something that impacts us for the entire run. Strength up. Whoa. Hubba, 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 hubba. Helmet body armor. Well, there we go. We're going to be able to see what rank this weapon was. Oh, these are not that great for us. Hmm. We could do Relentless and then we could do Blood Shrines. Or we could get more dashes. Ay, ay, ay. Well, I'll do this for the sake of trying to make that work. Like we'll do a, we'll do blood shrines if we see him there. Hello, Poseidon. Oh, what a fun fight! Our damage is um bad. Oh, that's right. Not an easy fight, but a very fun fight. Okay. Oh, half HP there. Yeah, I was gonna say, usually at half HP, every single attack anybody does starts to shoot out extra bullets. Seems to be the uh, the general thing you can kind of just assume will happen is that they'll shoot out like eight more bullets whenever they do anything. Most bosses have an attack that's melee friendly. Like they have one attack that's melee friendly and then like five that aren't. So we kind of just kind of just have to wait for the one that is, which is a little bit of a bummer, but what are you going to do? Okay, here we go. There's the melee friendly attack. Oh, I beefed it. I beefed it. I can't lose my window, man. Okay, well that makes me happy to see. Uh I'm not I'm not gonna take it. I don't want to accidentally wear it. Uh makes me happy to see though that this was indeed an A rank and it's become an S plus rank. So maybe there's still hope for uh, double plus. Some meta currency there. Maybe there's still hope. Four seven. I don't. As silly as this sounds, you may like look at my HP and everything up there and all that, uh, and, and hear this and say, "What the hell are you talking about?" I, I'm less confident in this run than like the past four or five that I've had. Our scaling potential seems lower. Like, melee runs are innately worse, unless you get godly. I don't feel like, I don't feel like I'm scaling that well. I don't know. Like, we're, we're doing, it's not that we're not doing good damage, but considering our slow attack speed and how close we have to get to enemies, I'm just not like wowed, okay. For the sake of curiosity. Crescent Axe. <laughs> SMGs! I mean, like... Oh, that looks so fun. Like, for the sake of curiosity. Is it fun looking? Absolutely. Does it seem that strong? Um, I mean, actually, I think so. Because these guys, those laser enchanted ones, I think are usually 
uh, with a little bit more health than you would expect. But yeah, missing out, I think the big thing is missing out on that 30% bleed damage proc thing that we have. That seems to be the killer there. If anything. Extra dex. Eh, sure. Ooh. Okay. It's tricky to process those guys that technically jump up in the air. These guys. In a, in a 2D space, it's sort of weird to mentally map out what a their jump looks like. But I think that if you just touch their pixel, you pixel art, you probably get hit, right? I would imagine it's as simple as that. Even if they're in the air. Quote, unquote, in the air. I think that they probably still have an active hitbox. Maybe I'm wrong. Oh, it was not good, but that was a godly, godly dodge. God dodge. Um, I would rather go for a big pile of gold, so I might be able to upgrade this. This is not a melee fight. He has, well, he has, again, similarly, he has a melee move. But, like, I can't really approach for this. Oh, wait. That dodge didn't work. This is the melee friendly move. This is the one. For what it's worth, it's a very easy attack. So it's nice to get all that free DPS in there, but like, dang, is this not something we can really do melee damage in. Might even be worth like going for this for a bit. Like, during that phase... Oh, wait, we're doing, like, pretty big damage now. Okay. Yeah, that's the answer. Oh, my God. Are we doing, like, a ton of damage with this? No. Better than doing none. Okay. Oh my god. That's a pretty good call. I'm, I'm, I'm really happy with that choice. You know what? I deserve the meta currency. I'm, I deserve that one. <laughs> As a treat. Frozen enchanted. Back it up, back it up, back. Hello, punk. Are you the frozen? No, the frozen enchanted is just a room. We still haven't gotten our 10 decks for our extra dodge yet. That's something worth caring about. Uh, rage, 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 pardon me. 30% increased attack speed or 30% more damage, but you can't crit is a little bit weird. I don't know. I don't know what my crit chance is and I can't check. I'm hoping it's like seven. I should have, I should have done it. I, I do wish that I could have opened it up. I don't think I'm going to be upset about having 30% more attack speed on this weapon, though. I think that's going to be huge. Oh. Oh, it's... It's more or less the same, right? Sure. We still have a level up to get yet. Oh, my God. That was awkward spacing. Still have a level up to get yet. So I'm happy to go for strength still. I mean, not that I'll probably ever stop wanting to go for strength. Okay, so do we have this perk? Yeah, we do. This room is chaos. This room is chaos. Just literally 
just focus on any little element we can remove. I don't care if it's the thing I really want gone. Okay. Obviously, I don't care about that. Uh, I'll check what's in the shop. Dash summon a pigeon. Shock one. These are not what I need right now. I don't really care too much about dodge rolls anymore. We have, what, one trait left? Or dodge rolls? Uh, dice rolls? We have one trait left that we're going to get, and I'll probably be fine with it. I only have one key, so this is stupid. Stupid to go into the trap door. It's a shame that that's the time we see it. You just, I feel like you just never want to go in if you only have one. I feel like you maybe never want to go in, period, to be honest. I wasn't that impressed by that. The flail is good, but we've just used it before. Fusion is temporary. Strength is forever. Beef is for life. Good, 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 good. There we are. It's it's worth skipping the key. Go ahead and do this then for kicks and wiggles. In case there's a boss that. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, maybe, maybe. Phase one, this move is really easy for us. Oh, I'm out of dodges. <laughs> it's easy if you have dodges. I guess you need three dodges for that to do it that way. You can obviously just do it normal and run away like a, a wee babe. Things would probably probably be just fine. Okay. A lot of free damage here. By free damage, I mean I do have to do a lot of clean dodging. Oh, that was so nice. The fact that that move started going... We sh also should have uh, restored our armor. Hungry Blade gains critical multiply uh, on, on killing the boss. It's far too late to even care about that. I do want to keep my armor up, actually. So that we can afford to sacrifice health. <sighs> this is a tough call. I want to get my perk level up. Oh, I'm out of dodges! I need to stop dodging early. I'm dodging as if we're playing um, the Thief, who is clearly a much better character than this one, first of all, but... All right, Tunnel Vision, get the extra strength. We'll get our level up, and then we can... Then we can flex a little bit more. I did forget, I am actually 5% slower than the average character as well. I forgot about that. actually kind of nice. Uh, these are both the same. Arguably, this is this is slightly better. Eh, arguably, th this is better for the first hit. This is better if we want to swap our weapon mid-fight. I like momentum if I had more dashes. But I don't. Okay. Yeah, I'd rather have the uh, the potential buff. Or nine. I've not run into a curse. That doesn't mean I won't. I don't care about that. Gold or gold after you spend a bomb. Oh, this is not good. Kill them quick. Yeah, I knew I was going to take... 
a smack in there. I'm so happy I have this, uh, the three dodge per room. Dex is really nice to have just a little bit of, oh, huge, huge. I'm assuming you can upgrade, I'm pretty sure, just checking. Okay, I don't have any keys. Pierce, 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 Pierce. Rip, rip, rip. Kill the boss in the nude. Kill the boss in the nude. Three random rewards. Okay. That's maxed out. Don't do that yet. Bomber key. We have bombs. We don't have a key. Is there an X anywhere? I don't think so. It said something about an X on the wall, but I don't know. I don't think I've ever seen an X on the on the wall. Hmm. Boy. We're good, we're good, we're good. Big circle. I do really feel like our damage is, compared to a lot of the other runs we've had, a little lackluster. Considering how good our weapon probably should be, you know? It's an S plus rank, and we've been tunnel visioning uh, with 25 strength. One more dex gives us a dodge, an extra third dodge. Ah, yes. I don't remember if you're, uh, too difficult for melee. Oh god, that was not how to dodge that, but I didn't know what attack we were dealing with. I do, do I have a dodge? I do. Okay, thankfully his attacks are slow enough that you can hit him with that. That seems like a very annoying phase two attack, I bet. Could get in with the other weapon, but like I don't have it right now. Do we wait? I wait a second. Wait for him to start a new attack. I know this seems scummy. Oh my god. Start an attack, you idiot. Oh my god. There we go. And of course, it was this one. So he actually does do his new effect. So we just missed out on a lot of damage. I was trying for him to, to try to make him start a big cycle for a bad attack. Didn't work though. It was a good idea. It was a big brain idea that would have been way cooler if it didn't, <laughs> if it actually worked. Like locking him into a garbage attack the same way we locked like Cerberus into a garbage attack. Ah, man. All the meta currency was dropped on the gold. Rude. Do we have any increased shrine? We don't have increased shrine effect. We did not get that in the jungle from the events. So I don't think we want to go for shrines until the second half of the floor when they'll help us on Malthiel because I'm picturing this weapon being a little bit messy for Malthiel. Three decks. I would. I want to take my extra dodge. I would just be really disappointed if we made it to the boss and I didn't get my... 10 decks. <laughs> uh, wait, what? <laughs> Is it 15? I thought it was 10. I thought it was 10. All right. Disappointed I am. Whoa. Thank you, free dodge for room. That perk is giga strong. Not wearing clothes, no sir. You can't make me. Okay, tunnel. I don't know.
medic for a sick room. Okay. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Arcade. Obviously, we have quite a bit of money. You get like 10 in the payout. Maybe I'd rather have the key. It's floor, it's floor six. Uh, uh, key is probably still useful. Tricky. That's a, that one's a tough call. The thing is we... Rude. Uh, do I want to heal? No. I actively don't want to heal. We do less damage if we do if we uh, if we heal up. And that is unpog. Okay. Boop 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 boop. Maybe we'll re-roll the next one. Maybe, maybe not. Actually, the next one is the boss. Why does it even, why even matter, man? Why does it even matter? No, I don't want that stuff after the boss. Easy access. Alright, let's fight Death Nude. I'd rather see a melee weapon. <laughs> One second. Okay. Hi, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's I'd rather see this. Did we we have the healing potions in the event that we are basically dying already? I don't know. He, yeah, he does the weird sickles for a bit. Which are not too bad for melee. And by melee, I'm when I say melee, I'm saying the club. Because there may be a world where I want to roll the other weapon. Oh god! Oh god! That's not worth it. Ah, if you flub the if you flub the inventory transition, it's no longer probably worth it. Well, it is. Assuming that this even does more damage, which I guess I would hope that it does at this point. These ads gotta go. Otherwise, they will put us in an undodgeable position later, I think. They have the potential to do that. So easily severed. God, I... feel like I pretty often that come up when he's dying. So... Enough! Darkness! I've never seen this attack. I'm literally doing such a small amount of damage that I'm seeing a new attack on this boss. Fool! Why is my damage so bad? attack is way harder than anything else. Oh my god. Okay, so Mathiel is actually kind of tough if you don't have damage. It sucks. But I did it. But yeah, that boss is actually... He's tough if you... Oh god, I can't dodge the meta currency. If you don't have damage, he's really tricky. Because his phase two is tough, but usually he dies before he gets there. All right. I don't get it. What are these? I have a key, so clearly it's not as simple as that.
clearly we need some kind of locked key, or, you know, I don't know. I don't know, man. Maybe it's like... Could it be... You need to be at... I don't know. Drop my stuff. Become nude. Oh well, we're red. We have to. We clearly have to find something in in the middle of the run. I don't know what it would be though. I don't know where to find it. Maybe secret rooms, wherever those are. Maybe. Let's go. That is so much. Attack speed. Let's go for. Uh, an extra revive, we could have done that. Stamina regen is really big. I, I think we're probably going to go for, I would imagine, the Pyromancer tomorrow, so... Go for some of that. Hmm... Damage to the undead, effects of potions, boring. Do more damage for a little bit. All right. Well, hey, there we go. We we beat the boss nude without any armor. I don't know if I would recommend when you're playing as this character to even utilize his passive halfway through the run. I would say like to the point where when you only have one piece of equipment, I'd say that one armor or one weapon proficiency I'm assuming, I don't know the stats on it. Like, I still don't really know, but I can't, I don't really feel the difference too much. That was a really weak run. Like, as far as the amount of damage we were putting out was terrible. Like, it was really bad. <laughs> and we had double double strength proficiency and tunnel vision strength and a, an S plus ranked scaling club. And that felt terrible. Like, as far as terrible, I mean, like, it felt terribly weak compared to probably any run we've had. Like. I like I've gotten a little bit more proficient at the game so like it's going to look skewed but from any win that we've had in this game this was definitely the weakest build. I'm I can tell you very much from playing it this is the one in like piloting it this was by far the weakest run we've ever beat the game with. Um which makes sense. So I don't know if I would utilize this passive. I wanted to do it because I wanted to keep the spirit of the character uh but I would say the moment you get two pieces of equipment, I would maybe just say, I would maybe just drop it, like, genuinely. Uh, which is a bit of a shame, I suppose, but, um, I don't know. I honestly don't even think he'd be... You could almost, you could almost have it be, like, plus two proficiency. I don't know. You could almost do that, and it wouldn't even matter. Uh, but... He's weaker. Maybe he's maybe that's fine though. Like he's the deprived. Typically, is a deprived a challenge character? Usually, it's more of like a blank slate character. It's like you can take them in any direction you want. Uh, you start at nothing with so much potential. Uh, but it feels kind of like the hero is sort of just the better deprived in this game. So I think the deprived is maybe just a challenge character. Um, but you could run. You don't have to run strength just because he has two strength at a start. You don't have to run strength. Um, but alas, alas, that is that. That's going to do it here for today for Tiny Rogues. If you'd be sad to see the series go, you got to let me know in the form of a comment down below. Uh, make sure to wishlist this game, though. It's coming out on the 23rd this month. So make sure you go and do that. It helps the game out. Even if you're not sure you're going to buy it on day one, clicking the link at the top of the description, going over there and wishlisting the game does help spread the game around and thus making it more likely that it will get updates in the future, which I would adore. I think that'd be fantastic. This game has so much content already in, and it's going to be coming out in early access. It has so much more content than a lot of 1.0s that I've played. It's really, really nice. Like, And just imagining where it can be taken from here because of the framework the developer set up. I'm not going to sit here and say like, and you know, adding stuff is going to be easy, you know, but the framework for adding new things uh, because of the, the route the, uh, the developer took with art, and I know this was an intentional choice, uh, the route they took with, with the art angle makes it so it's going to be a lot easier to add a large sum of content as a solo developer. 
so that just has me really, really optimistic about where this game is going to go uh, in the future, because it's already really, really fun. It just feels like it's a platform for a very, very deep thing. Uh, I can't wait to see what happens in the future. But alas, alas, uh, that is that. That's going to do it for today. Check out the channel, Roguelikes and more, every single day. And I will see you next time. Bye.